those pesky red lights glowing, brakes squeaking, rush hour. <laughs> this is, oh boy. <laughs> in Southeast Portland. In 30 minutes, we just did that. Is a daily challenge. And it's a challenge that is about to get a whole lot worse. I feel like with all of that stuff already happening, it's going to be kind of bad news. Three major streets are shutting down Monday morning, closed 24 hours a day for three weeks for light rail construction. And city staff. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Are not the only ones with serious concerns. It's kind of intense to think about the fact that they're going to be coming in here and traveling in our side streets and probably being angry about the traffic. Portland police will provide increased enforcement in the area, watching for speeding and other violations as drivers try to find detours. When people come to a road closure they, are, they weren't aware of, there's something of a tendency to get frustrated and drive fast through the neighborhood streets, and that's dangerous. Because while rush hour traffic can be a tangled mess, at other times of the day... Everybody flies through here. Speed is already a concern, and the anticipation is the road closures will only make things worse. You're worried that people will get hurt. I mean, that somebody will get hit and injured or, God forbid, killed. Now, during road closures on Cesar Chavez Boulevard earlier this summer, police did provide similar enforcement as well, and they issued 80 tickets.